The following video needs a little bit of an explanation. We spoke with a man named Frank Benson on Tagged. He gave us his phone number and asked us to text with him. Well, instead of texting, we went ahead and called him. The phone rang several times and much to our surprise, a lady answered the phone. Of course it was a Google Voice number, but when the lady answered, we weren't really sure what to do. I didn't break character and I kept talking to her as Betty. Long story short, she's a victim of Frank Benson. She'd been talking to him for over two years. And we think that the scammer went ahead and used her phone number to open a Google Voice number. He more than likely sent a code to her phone, and she probably gave it to him, in order for him to have his Google Voice number. After we spoke with the victim, Frank Benson, in a panic, because we weren't answering his text messages, went ahead and called us. I hope this explanation sheds some light on this, and it's a perfect example of why you should never, ever give a scammer a code that gets texted to your phone. You cannot open a Google Voice number without having a landline or a legit mobile cell phone number to verify the account. And that's exactly what he did. He used her phone number to verify his Google Voice account. Thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoy. Are you there, Benson? Hello? I, I'm trying to reach Benson. Benson? Yeah, I was just talking to a man on tag, and he gave me this number and said to call him. He wanted you to call me? No, he's texting with me right now. He said this is his phone number. No, this is my number, and I do know it is. Well, I, I'm I'm confused because I I'm talking to a man named Frank Benson on Tagged, and he's texting me right now with his phone number, and he's saying, "Call me." Oh, I don't know why he texted you my number. Well, do you, do you know this man, or are you said you know a Benson? I do know him, but I don't know why he gave you my number. Or did you did you meet him on tag? Uh huh. Uh uh. I I've been knowing him for about two years, two two and a half years. Oh my goodness, cause his name is Frank Benson, but now you know the photos he's using. It's a man named Joe Cross. He's an Australian health um coach. Oh wow. What it? What oh, it? Wow. Yeah, cause I, I'm, I'm actually doing a little scam baiting with scammers, and uh, he's a, it's a, it's a Nigerian scammer behind this phone number, so I was surprised he, he gave me this number. I'm surprised he gave you my number too. You know, I, when I met him, I told him I'm not the person to be scammed. Don't ask for much, any money. Uh -huh. I'm not sending it to you. <laughs> if you want to be a friend, that's fine. But other than that, mm-mm. Oh, no. Well, I'm telling you right now, this is a scammer because, like I said, the photos he sent me, he was in a swimming pool, and uh, it's Joe Cross. It's a stolen photo of a man named Joe Cross. Oh, wow. Has he has he <laughs> asked you for iTunes cards? Yeah, he has, and he has not gotten them. <laughs> okay. Well, just letting you know, you're dealing with a Nigerian boy. He's a young Nigerian scammer, and I've been trying to bust him for a while now. So I, I think you should block this person if you're still talking to him. Well, thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. I hope you, you, you stay safe, and I apologize for calling you. He just He said this is his number. I will, and thank you so much. You're welcome, honey. Thank you. You know what? If there's people, there there should be more people like you. <laughs> oh, oh goodness! Well, I just I do this for the page called Scamming Scammers Action on Facebook, and I was baiting a scammer, and he's trying to ask me for money, and the number is actually a Google Voice number, so he must have used your phone number to connect his Google Voice number. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, you, wow. you you make sure you block him because he ain't who he says he is. He's a scammer. Thank you so much. You're welcome.
Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Well, you, have, you have a good evening. You Thank too. You. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hello. 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 Well, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Oh, I can hear you just fine. How you doing? I'm good in you. Oh, I'm doing all right. I'm just sitting here. What are you up to, honey? I'm uh, just about to go to my computer and type in some work. That's all. Oh, okay. Well, I just thought it'd be easier if we talked on the phone. Yeah, that's true. Well, I didn't see your call the last time. That's why I didn't answer. So I had to call you so you don't think I was trying to avoid your call. Anything. Oh, no, that's fine, honey. I just, you know, I I went ahead and thought, well, maybe you was busy. So uh, you want to tell me about yourself? Yeah, I'm going to tell you about myself, but let me just finish up what I got to do with the computer, and then I'll come back and tell you everything, okay? Oh, so what you doing on the computer, honey? I'm about to fix some, some paperwork. There are some bills I got to pay, so I want to pay them now. Well, and it's funny because, uh, yeah, when I called, I ended up getting a woman who answered, and she told yep. me you've been in a relationship with her for two years, so I let her know you're a mother from Nigeria and I let her know you're using stolen pictures of Joe Cross you son of <laughs> whoops <laughs> <laughs>